Recently, I've been asked a lot on how I've gotten the white outline around my avatar. I started using the white outline a few months ago, and since then, I've seen the use of it from other creators start to increase, as well as a lot of comments on how to do this outline. So today, I'm here to answer the big question, how do I do this outline? And the answer is that it's an influencer-only emote in TDD3, but I will be showing you on how you can do something similar for your videos by using editing. I'll be showing you how to do it on After Effects and CapCut PC. If you'd like me to do a mobile version, I'll try to figure out how to do that for you guys, if it's highly requested. By the way, this tutorial is for people who are already a bit familiar with using After Effects or CapCut. It's not a tutorial on how to use these editing apps, but I might make a tutorial for After Effects in the future. But for now, this is just on how to do these effects if you're already a bit familiar with these programs. So first off, import your clip into After Effects, cut it to the length that you want the clip to be, and then scale it up to however you want. Then pre-compose your clip, duplicate it, and then pre-compose the top duplicated clip. And then go into the pre-composed top clip, then head over to the top row here and select Roto Brush. Double click on the top clip and begin drawing over your avatar. This is how you will mask your avatar. Go frame by frame, adjusting the masking to however you like. By the way, a little tip is sometimes I like to turn on this little option over here just to make it a bit easier to see which areas need to be highlighted. Once you're done roto brushing your clip, head back to the main composition and then duplicate the roto brushed clip. And then you're going to search for the fill effect over in effects and presets. And then you're just going to add that onto the bottom roto brushed layer. And then you're going to search for the simple choker effect as well. And then bring that down to about like 24 or wherever you see fit. And then you're going to search for the glow effect as well. And then turn the glow radius up a little bit. And there you go. That's how you do the outline in After Effects. And then after that, you can go back to your main composition and then just add any other overlays or effects under the masked layer. Next, I'm going to show you how to do the outline on CapCut, but be warned that CapCut PC may be a bit buggy. I had issues doing this while trying to record, so I'm not certain if this will work for everyone, but I will still show the method of how I remade the outline on CapCut. First, get your clip, cut it to the length that you want it, scale it up however you want, and then compound the clip. Duplicate that, drag the duplicated clip over to the side, and then go to remove BG and click on the brush tool. I'm not being very precise with my masking, I'm just doing it quickly for tutorial purposes. And then once you get the masking to however you like it, duplicate that clip and then click on the bottom clip and go to adjust, go to basic, scroll down, turn whites up to 50, and then go to curves and bring the luma curve all the way up to the top left corner and then go back to video and basic and then turn off uniform scaling adjust the scaling to however you like and then select both of the clips and then turn them into a compound clip and then drag that over the unmasked layer if you want to add an extra glow you can add the luminance effect on top of the outline layer but like I said, CapCut is a little buggy, so it might mess up your project. So just duplicate the project file first, just in case. All right, and that's the tutorial. Hopefully some of you found it useful, but I might do a mobile version if it's highly requested. I'm still not too familiar with mobile editing apps, but I still might give it a try. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment on any other tutorials you might want to see me do in the future. Okay, bye! Have a good day! <laughs>